Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages can be vice versa and this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate. You can always check your other placements if it doesn't resonate with you. What's going on with Capricorn when it comes to love? By the way, I'm going to pull cards for singles towards the end. So stay tuned for that if you are single or considering yourself single if in separation. So let's see. We have robotic. We have soulmate recognition. We have dream come true and passion. Some of you may feel like a person is your soulmate or you may soon start to feel that way. But there may be something kind of, you know, boring about the relationship or there's something that you want to change or improve in this relationship this may happen for you whatever it is that you want with the card dream come true because obviously something's going in your way something is in your favor what are the love messages for capricorn okay we have you deserve love you are lovable we have reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life I am getting the message for some of you, this is like a side message, that for some of you there may be someone coming back from your past who who was the boring one, one that was a relationship that you kind of didn't want. They may be trying to trying to get another chance with you, so you probably, probably won't want them. Especially if, um, especially if you've decided that someone else is your soulmate or someone new or your current person. But I am seeing that there is someone coming towards you. If you are separated from your current person, it could be them, the person that you do want to be with. So them coming back to you could be a dream come true, reigniting this passion here. But we have let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others, and we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So usually this is a current situation when separation comes up. It means that you guys are currently separated but let me see what we got here. Okay, Capricorn. Person Capricorn has in mind. Show me this person's energy towards Capricorn. Oh my gosh, I've seen this. <laughs> okay, we have the moon at least. We have the moon card. All right, wow. The moon is strong energy, so that explains a lot. They could be a Pisces or a Cancer for some of you. What's their energy towards Capricorn? These cards are slippery, so I'm not gonna go too crazy <laughs> with them. We have the Fool. They could be an Aries for some of you. There is someone taking a leap towards you. We got the fool, we got the emperor. This is someone who doesn't show emotion. So you may be shocked that they come forward. They may have been hiding their feelings. The person that you have in mind is hiding how they feel. They're, they're remaining mysterious at the moment while you guys are in separation. This person is not someone who shows you how they feel. Like they don't, they're just not with the, the mushy stuff I get with the emperor. So them returning to you, and I don't even know what they say. Maybe they say something romantic that is shocking. But there is this tower here so they're getting ready to do act to do something to take action towards you what's capricorn's energy towards their current person so i don't know why they move chairs around upstairs but we have the ace of cups so a lot of you are open to this person but i see that you have conditions you're not giving too much of your energy i feel like you're requiring them to put in some effort. This is a relationship that does make you feel comfortable and at home, but you may feel betrayed by this person. So you feel like you're not the one to apologize. You feel like they are they needing to apologize. They need to come forward. I see that you're in love and you still want the relationship, but you do feel hurt and feel the need to not put in any effort. So kind of being strong and waiting for them, making it clear that they need to do something. What's the mutual energy here? Ace of Swords. 
Ace of Pentacles, two aces and the Empress. Some of you are dealing with the Libra. We got Libra, Aries, Pisces, Cancer so far. Okay. Okay. Both of you have aces as you mutual energy. Ace of Pentacles is about a new beginning that is very stable. So you both want stability and you both have been through a lot here with this Ace of Swords, but both have this idea of it being able to work still. There's definitely attraction, mutual attraction still there. So that's, that's something. What's coming up in the near future for this connection? You guys are going to be taking it quite slow. There, it's not going to be a walk in the park. There may be some disappointments along the way. Frustration, especially if you've gone through a lot with this person. But the anxiety part, part where there's a fear of you losing each other, that will go away. The effortless connection is still there. But there's something about this that is telling me, and I'm getting this um, channeled message, that you do need to focus on self-love, Capricorn, because um, I feel like I'm hearing that you need to be unaffected by anything that they decide to throw at you. So, for example, if this person has an ego, for example, if they do want to be with you, but they still have an ego and they want to, you know, throw things at you or say things like, you know, you did this and you did that type of thing. You need to be ready is what I'm hearing, like from the universe. So if you're in separation right now, I swear it's been, it's always quiet until I start doing readings and they start making noise upstairs. Anyways, if you are in separation, Capricorn, this is the time for you to work on yourself so that you are fully armed, fully ready for whatever this person wants to throw at you because they may be a tricky one. Okay, and the emperor is telling me this. They may know that they're wrong, but still try to, you know, throw something, you know, throw something or indicate that you did something too or this and that or silent treatment anything like that you need to be prepared for if you're even wanting to give this a chance i'm only seeing that some of you want to give it a chance because you have so much recognition here passion and dream come true so it does look like some of you are wanting this and if you're wanting this and you know that your person is you know that your person can be difficult i'm, I'm hearing that the universe is trying to give you this like heads up this advice to make sure that when they do that you can just be like huh, okay cool unaffected you know what i mean so that they don't know what they're in for when they come forward if you are dealing with a capricorn if you are cross watching and dealing with the capricorn i do get for a lot of you is the capricorn that left you and you need to be armed and ready if that's the case I just feel like someone's gonna try and play a game with the with the other person and someone needs to be ready for this to not be thrown off okay so let me look at your main spread what's going on with capricorn when it comes to love what is going on with capricorn when it comes to love Some of you, wow. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini or a fellow Capricorn. Capricorn, some of you are really, 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 really tied to this person, like in love. In love, in love, like in love, love. <laughs> um, and if that's the case, you, you are one of the people who need to be armed and ready. Um, I'm seeing that this person they're seeing you as brand new so if you guys have been separated for a while well it doesn't really matter actually how long you've been separated them feeling the fool is them feeling like it's almost as if they've just met you all over again so they have this new attitude when it comes to their feelings towards you like they're kind of it's like that excitement when you meet new love they they have this for you over again okay so 
they do want to see positive change. They may have made some positive changes within themselves as well, but I still get that there's somewhat of a trickster or sassy or throw shade, something like that. Like they have some ways. I don't know why I'm picking up on this. Um, they're seeing you as the five of pentacles. You're seeing them as the two of swords. So you feel like they refuse to see the issues in the relationship. They know that you feel left out in the cold. Some of you may have made this known. Um, reverse psychology. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you need a tool. So you need to, like this person seeing you as feeling left out, feeling rejected. If you were to flip that and just show this really independent side of you, you'll you'll see the difference in this person's attitude they will suddenly be on their toes realizing that they could lose you so they need to stop trying with the games mutual energy queen of cups both share a spiritual connection both have emotions for each other feelings for each other what's blocking those are three of swords capricorn you may be hurt in the situation like i said if you are separated Please take this time to heal that energy so that you're ready for anything. Okay, you're ready to walk away if you have to. You're ready to take it slow if you have to. Because I see that a lot of you Capricorn, you got the devil as your feelings towards this person. So a lot of you are very tied to them, like finding it hard to leave or just emotionally very, very much attached very much attached to this person emotionally almost like a drug for some of you some of you may not be that extreme but if it is extreme um, that's why the universe is telling you like you need to pull back a bit and make sure you're not weak to this person make sure that, that they can't come around and just say a few words and you're back in their arms you have to show an independent different side is what i'm seeing because this will gain this person's respect or anyone's respect. Anyone going forward, you will gain their respect when you have your own strength and you can say no to people. Okay, so the outcome is the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Eight of Wands. So action is going to be taken here towards you. Like I said, reconciliation. There's gonna things are gonna happen very soon. But what I'm seeing is that you are needing to um, make sure that you're not completely submissive to this person, is what I'm saying. Because they, they kind of know the power they have over you when they're seeing you as a five of pentacles. So you kind of have to show a different face, show independence, like, no, you don't have control, you don't have power over me. Even if they do, just pretend they don't, okay? that will change the way they are seeing things show them that they need to step up that you they, they can't just be in and out of your life um or else this three of swords energy is going to continue you're going to keep getting your heart broken um some of you are dealing with someone that you're probably thinking about leaving maybe they do have some toxic behaviors that do keep you stuck keep you hooked on them and feeling you're feeling like it's the best thing to do to leave even that should be an option for you if that's what you want to do why is this person feeling the full energy towards capricorn so many cards came out wow yeah they may have pushed you away at one point now that has changed opening up communication i feel like it's because they may be thinking that you might be getting over them Why the devil? Capricorn, this is a clear message. Clear message, the emperor in reverse, clarifying the, the devil. The emperor in reverse is, some, is male or female, a controlling person, someone who has control over you. It doesn't mean, it doesn't have to mean that they are a full on um, like controlling person. They could be for some of you, but it's just a thing where they have a way with you, like they have a way 
that keeps you coming back or keeps you with them with this emperor in reverse this devil this emperor in reverse is just representing this person that you're kind of weak to emotionally that you that you're chained to so this is basically telling me that this person has the power and you are the one who's chained so with the hangman in reverse me telling you this could be changing your perspective right now or you could soon start to feel the need to change your perspective maybe you feel inspired to work on self-love to strengthen yourself i feel that you do need to do that it will change the way people see you and i want to say how this person sees you but i know that some of you are leaving this person anyways like if you some of you are going to have the, are going to work up the strength realize what this is realize that it's just an attachment um and be able to leave that's if it is an unhealthy attachment others of you you may just be slightly codependent doesn't mean that your person is this controlling monster but you may have this way of attaching to people um a lot and you just need to work on that but when you work on your when you work on this devil energy when you work on the way you attach to people the right people will stay the wrong people will leave your life okay so it won't really you'll know if this person is right for you or not that's why we have soulmate recognition you'll recognize who is your soulmate when you heal your energy because when you have attachment issues which most of us have capricorn don't say that i'm just saying it's just you it's not you most of us have attachment issues because that's what happens with babies when they're crying for their mom it takes a while for the mom to hear everybody has some level of attachment issues this is what i've learned um when you work on that you will it's a thing where you like for example if this person is a is an unhealthy person energetically if they're controlling and horrible you won't be attracted to them when you heal so it won't be a thing where oh my god you lose this person and it's so hard to let go no when you heal if they are not right for you you won't be attracted to them you'll probably meet someone else that you're attracted to someone who matches the your new energy okay so you don't have to worry about loss when healing the best thing about it is the healthy choices you'll be making the pain-free life you'll be living okay so why the lovers you guys you guys want love it's either with this person some of you are just wanting love in general like you're open to just having the right person come into your life it doesn't necessarily have to be this person and if that's the case that's great all you have to do is focus on the fact that you deserve love and that you're healing why the will of fortune gosh these cards are so slippery and they don't get any better oh my goodness okay this one yeah this person may be healing they may be making positive changes themselves doesn't make them an angel like i really feel like it depends on the type of person that they are depends on where you're going to be when you heal and you'll know you'll be able to recognize a soulmate versus an unhealthy attachment why the four of pentacles is the outcome okay i know that some of you are holding on to a connection but you're gonna the feeling of feeling stuck like you don't know what to do you just can't let go of this person not all of you obviously but anyone who feels like they just can't let go of someone because i know there's cross watchers watching that's gonna change it's about coming back from this ten of swords it's about the healing after this betrayal after this pain get into that stability you may find yourself overthinking sometimes it's all a part of the process but i see you finally not feeling stuck anymore so let me look at the singles see what's going on 
especially if you're planning on moving on from this person. Let's see. Okay, Capricorn, the single Capricorns. What's going on with the single Capricorns? There you go. Again, Ace of Swords in reverse. You are coming out of that feeling of feeling stuck. Feeling like you can't leave someone or that you're stuck in the same cycle of having the same type of person come into your life. You're definitely healing emotionally, a lot of you. Releasing baggage. I see some of you leaving a situation, a relationship, if you feel like, like I feel like you, those of you who end up leaving the person, it's, it will be because they're too controlling and that you see, like, it's not, I'm, I'm getting this image of like looking out of a window, for example, and seeing something better or seeing a whole new world out there and being motivated by that like okay this is like i'm not because some of you feel like okay i'm just stuck in this relationship some of you are going to be seeing this whole new world realizing that there's more fish in the sea if you're dealing with someone who is toxic so like i said it's not going to be a painful thing if you do decide to leave this person it will be more like a a dream come true <laughs> <laughs> all the cards that that like every time i'm lost for words there's a card right there with what i'm trying to say okay who's coming towards single capricorn oh we already know this is someone from the past this this connects with a reconciliation card so when i ask who's coming towards you capricorn obviously we know there's someone from the past but who else <laughs> Who else is coming towards Capricorn? Uh, some, some of you have an ex-spouse or ex who is a long relationship. Some of you may have this soulmate energy coming towards you. We've got the High Priestess. There may be multiple people coming towards you, including someone from the, from the past. But I am seeing one standout soulmate energy here. It's like no longer having to wait type of energy and it's very spiritual and powerful along with the ex so capricorn you don't have to be so mad that the ex is coming towards you because at least <laughs> at least there's more than that coming so you can pick choose and refuse i forgot to pull cut oh my goodness okay capricorn you are good enough it was in reverse i don't read these cards in reverse but I'm taking this as a sign because I know that a lot of you do need to work on the self-love because you have you deserve love here. So having to remind having to be reminded that you deserve love and that you're good enough. This is telling me that some of you are struggling with that and you need to make sure you affirm this every day so it becomes a part of you. It gets implanted in your mind and you start to believe and understand that you're good enough. This will also help you attract the right person who also believes that you're good enough. So if you're not believing that you're good enough then you're attract you may have attracted someone like that ex who also can't see your worth either so treats you badly so it's important we got a fiery climax approaches aries energy the energy is gaining momentum communication is key gemini energy some of you some of you will be in communication i am getting that some of you are going to get um closure with the situation that ended and learning that it wasn't because of you or that or it wasn't because you weren't good enough or anything like that learning the truth we have be assertive no need to worry abundance and let go i feel like once you let go and you start to love yourself so much is coming your way meditation brings answers make sure you're spiritually there you know calm and grounded you are an earth sign so that's not hard to be grounded to be calm just understand that you got people come in and you gotta be ready and prepared for anything that is thrown at you you don't want to fall weak to a toxic ex 
who knows exactly what to say to get you back. You want to go towards the real soulmate. If, if the person you're dealing with is a real soulmate and you guys are just separated, the more you heal, the more you'll know whether or not that's true, if they are the real one or not. So Capricorn, this is what I'm seeing for you. I hope this was helpful. You can always check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on for you in love. Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.